Taking my time, life feel good Make me some bands by the night I should Hop on a flight, I'm catching the vibe Give me the keys, let's go take a ride Sometimes you gotta go through the pain But life is gonna get better, yeah Putting in work, I'm focused on my grind About my cheddar, yeah Yo, what's good YouTube? You already know what it is It's your boy MJTV And I'm back again with another reaction video And today we are reacting to You're not crazy, hip hop is changing Now I seen this video pop up on my recommended And honestly you know, I figured we should switch up the content a little bit, you know. Uh, I do always react to, you know, mostly music content, you know, mu music videos and stuff like that. So I figured we should switch it up, but we are still in the music category, but just a different kind of video. So before we get into this video, y'all know what I need you guys to do. Go ahead and smash that like button, comment down below what videos you would like to see from me next. Most importantly, hit that subscribe button right now and join the MJTV family because we're only going up from here. We ain't going down. So without further ado, let's get it, fam. Hip-hop is changing, but not in a good way. It's no secret that the rap scene is in a bad place these days. Right now, hip-hop is dying, and everyone is wondering how it's come to this point. Rappers blowing up off TikToks instead of albums. Soulless, formulaic trap songs taking over the mainstream. Walking, breathing gimmicks whose only mission is to go viral by any means necessary. Today we're going to point out the artists that epitomize exactly what's wrong with the genre in this moment. The three deadly rap sins that are setting the genre up for collapse. Break it down, break it down. The bars below it, the wells run dry. The wind is so crazy. Why, why does it keep fucking being windy? It can't stop being windy. Rooftop rant too, we're out here. And even though I'm on this tall ass building, I can still hear all of you saying, not true, rap is still alive and well in the underground. But, but, but the underground. Obviously there's always gonna be something for your liking if you dig deep enough. No one is disputing that, I'm not disputing that. But if we really wanna gauge what the masses want, where the culture is at and where it's going, unfortunately, we have to look at the mainstream. Scary mainstream, oh no. Yeah, it's it's pretty dead. Like who's up and coming right now? Who's a breath of fresh air? Who's really shaking things up at the moment? Listen, I'll give you they have some sauce, but that's not even their sauce. That's right. party sauce. Now how does that compare to the early 2010s with K Dot Cole and Drake coming up? To 2016, to the NY drill movement even more recently. Yeah. It doesn't. And the first sin is a big reason for that. The Empty Show A complete lack of inspiration If I was to pose the question Who is the worst rapper in the game? I would probably get answers like I don't know Everybody like, hey, what's that sound? This the sound of, you know, Miles <laughs> Old Head would probably say something like Hey, yo party. <laughs> But those aren't even close to Because <laughs> Their styles Yo. all provoke some sort hey, of Hey, Cardi reaction. got that. To me, Man, I don't the know. trashiest artist is one who provokes no reaction at all. Who doesn't allow any possibility of people calling them trash because they never even really take risks in the first place. And I'm naming names. I don't give a shit. Tyga. Who else? Jack Harlow. g -Z, Big Sean until not too long ago. Oh, it's lit. Yeah, I'm never sober. It's been three days in a row. Y'all bitch coming over. I woke up in beast mode. With my girl that's beauty in the beast though. Hey. And I know I gave up drinking, but I'm hiding. I told her I don't come from here, but you can pop that ass. Drop that ass. Get that cash. Make that bag. None of them have a signature sound. All of them sound like that one struggling rapper trying to plug his music under every tweet. Most of their fans don't listen to a lot of rap music, or even music for that matter. The kind of people you ask what they listen to, and they just tell you everything. But if they ever dig deeper, they always realize, Oh, there's better music than this. Unfortunately, right now, there are less and less people digging deeper, and more and more artists that keep that in mind. The rise of social media has opened the floodgates for digestible bubblegum songs to easily gain traction. Funniest thing is, the generic artists I just named all popped in the 2010s. Because the ones that popped recently were forgotten so quickly, I don't even know their name. Nobody does. This same time three years ago, nah, for real, Stay Solid Rocky had a song on Billboard Top 20. Who is that? 
24K gold and had a number one hit. And we haven't heard from him since. Hey Amen. Where True. the fuck is Mario Judah? So yeah, even though we've always had generic rappers and people who like them, no one can deny the fact that the last couple of years have taken this to another level. Social media platform TikTok has served as an entry point for many newcomers lately. Most recently, DDG, who's gonna be our sacrificial lamb today. Yes, yes. Damn huh. his A true example of an uninspired empty shell. I'm geeking. Riz. Keep the 30 on me like Steph Curry. Weak as fuck. This is music for people with low confidence. Bro, all he has to do is not stick out too much and he's good. DDG sounds like everyone but himself. But he's not the sole perpetrator. Mm, cha -cha -cha. Dude, cha -cha -cha. Right now, there are a lot of artists just like him following a formula, trying to make it with no backbone no identity, standing for nothing besides money and clout. And their art perfectly reflects that. But these days, the music just isn't enough. Because you have to attract attention when you're outside of the studio too. Through yeah, relationships, facts, facts, facts. through beats, by any means necessary. All of it is done for clout. We've somehow managed to blur the lines between the content creator and the artist, the gimmick and the musician. And that's how you get uninspired acts such as these doing real numbers. The Circus Freak. A walking gimmick. A joke no one really takes seriously. Who's gonna fizzle out in the near future. While acts like Tyga and DDG mostly stick to the music, people like this go far beyond that. To the point where their whole persona is just a fucking gimmick. And for some reason, people love gimmicks more than anything in the world. I swear to God, you gotta be like nine years old to be invested in shit like this. Lil Mabu is beefing with Blueface's baby mama? This is some serious beef right here. No way, Lil Mabu got pressed on live? Now this is definitely real. I don't even have to speculate with this man. Boy. He's an actor, and he's not even trying to hide it. Hey everybody, come look at this white boy. He thinks he's a gangster. That's the only appeal. And to you, this may sound like I'm hating, and I am. I'm hating. He said I am, I'm hating. But this is a real <laughs> problem. Now if we knew how to separate these spectacles from real artists, this wouldn't be a problem. But since today everything is consumed passively, we don't know how to do that. And all of a sudden, it's a problem. People aren't paying enough attention to recognize the fakeness of these kind of characters. So some right. end up taking them seriously in the end. Only deal that you took was a plea. My boy and money. Funny oh my God. God. Hold on. Oh, this shit is kind of hard. No, it's not. To me, the main draw of hip hop was always how easy making it was. The fact that you don't have to be musically trained to enter the genre is fucking amazing. It's the only source of art where you can hear a dude come fresh out of a fucking scatty pack and give his view on things. <laughs> Yo, making it the most Drewski is hilarious, dog. Experience in music. Even though he's Little not actually no a rapper, bro. That clip, no bro, alone. If y'all saw that, go. So I wonder if a college student from a wealthy family can get away with rapping about street shit because of a gimmick. What's the point? I mean, bro, anyone can rhyme aggressively over some loud 808s. There's nothing compensating for the simplicity. Without the creativity, without the fucking realness, it's just that simple. Bro, if this is what it's gonna turn into, let me know right now. I'd go listen to Radiohead and the Beatles in an instant, okay? I'd be one of those white people who say they grew out of hip hop. No cap! The phrase hip hop is dead has been thrown around pretty much since the late 90s. But this is the thing old heads don't understand. A different sound could never kill hip hop. Ever. What genuinely could do it is a complete lack of inspiration and creativity being accepted by the masses. Which is what's happening right now. I would go in depth on how we can change this, but I'm not stupid. I know damn well if I go in depth, all of you will click off and I won't get any motion on this bitch. And I'm trying to get some motion. I'm trying to take Ice Spice out on a date. So you can figure that one out on your own while I talk about Ice Spice. The byproduct. I could bag Ice Spice if I wanted to, 
And I don't even really want her like that. But I can still do it if given the opportunity. Ice Spice isn't the sin herself. It's her popularity that's the real sin. Honestly, that's the only reason I put her on the thumbnail. Facts. You know? I just want to capitalize off people's internalized misogyny. Yeah, fuck that stupid fucking bitch. All right, be honest. When you see Ice Spice, what is the first thing you think of? Yeah, well, it's not her music, that's for sure. Definitely if not the music. If Lil Mabel are the evidence, then Ice Spice is the proof in the pudding. People don't care about the art that much. Unfortunately, at all. that's where we're at. People care about the crazy hair, the fat ass, and the famous streamer trying to riz her up. You love it, you hate it, it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, you're paying attention. And attention pays her. That's a Wayne bar. And Ice Spice, if you're watching this, please answer my DMs. Nah, but really though. <laughs> I'm afraid we've gotten so far away from the art this that people dude. have started putting gimmicks above real artists. So yeah, hip hop is dying and we desperately need some fresh blood to revive it. It starts and ends at the art, okay? All this other shit, it just doesn't last. The art is the one true thing that matters. Shout out to Tyler, the creator, who spoke up about this recently, even though taking that position is never easy. What is blood yapping about? Yappington, Yap City. And I'm aware I sound like an asshole here, okay? I know how cringe and pretentious taking this position is. Trust me. Listen, I'll shut the fuck up, but someone has to be the asshole. Because if we don't speak up about this, it's gonna become normalized. We can't let that happen. Because if this becomes real, then nothing is real anymore. And if we stand by and watch it happen, then that is the biggest sin of all. Hey man, what this guy here, Dupli, that's what his name is, Dupli, 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 I think. What he was saying here in this video, can't really disagree with it. Um, it's facts, man, you know. Um, hip hop, I don't want to say is dead, but it is slowly, slowly dying down, man, you know. Because I feel like, as far as the music, it's not even, like, creative. It's not even creative, it's not rappers like artists just actually making music out of creation out of love you know it's just all of them using it as a gimmick you know something to uh, push an agenda and especially with the music industry nowadays guys like that's what the industry wants that's what these labels want they want these artists to just make music and display themselves in a way to where People are constantly looking at them. People are constantly talking about them. And it's not even out of, like I said, the music is not even out of pure creativity. It's not even out of love. It's not even out of nothing. You know, everything is being pushed to an agenda. Why do you think there's art artists like Ice Spice, for an example, who suddenly just gets all this attention and all this money and all this clout when their music is straight dog water like you know what i'm saying their music is straight trash you got artists like sexy red out here whose music is not even good at all not even listenable at all but yet they have so much clout and so much attention because like i said that's what the industry portrays the industry nowadays guys is only getting worse and all they do is they pay these artists good money to not only put out good projects that will make them money back for the label but they these labels push these artists to make songs and do certain things on the internet to have people like us distracted and also always on the internet looking at them you know what i'm saying so it's like you know they're always doing things to get attention and they're always doing things to mess up the popularity like you got to understand why do you think there's so many artists like Sexy Red, um, Ice Spice, City Girls, Nicki Minaj, you know what I'm saying? Like just all these artists who just make songs all about just their body and, you know, scamming and, you know, tricking guys for money and just selling their, you know what I mean? Like, why do you think there's so much of this music going on? 
because when you think about it their whole objective the label's whole objective the industry's whole objective is to get these females to listen to this music so that way they can follow in those same footsteps as that artist is that rapper so then that way you know it messes up the whole generation it messes up the population now you have young girls listening to these songs thinking that oh this is how i'm gonna carry myself this is how i'm gonna carry myself not realizing what it's doing to the community and to the whole population as a whole and it's really just effed up man it's effed up that we got music like this nowadays that's not even worth listening to that's getting all the attention and you know it's crazy man that's why to be honest chat to be honest guys i do not listen to hip-hop i rarely listen to hip-hop honestly if i do i listen to hip-hop maybe like a couple maybe two days three days out of the out of the whole entire week maybe three days out of the whole entire week i do not hard i hardly listen to li i hardly listen to rap hip-hop whatever you want to call it me and it's because like even the energy like when i listen to it my energy does not even feel right when i listen to the music because a lot of the music that these artists in these labels make a lot of these songs are at a low frequency they make low frequency music which another thing is bad and you know for the whole community but you know to make a long story short guys you know hip-hop is not where it should be we need more artists like myself um, if you guys are looking to listen to more positive music on the pot, if you guys are listen, if you guys are looking to listen to music more on the positive side of the spectrum, make sure you guys listen to my music. Um, check it out in the uh, link in the description. I do make lots and lots and lots of positive music. You know, positive music that actually has a meaning and a message behind it. You know, we gotta bring this. We gotta bring hip hop back for real, y'all. And you know. What better way to do that, man, than to, you know, just actually have the artists on top who are actually putting a meaning behind the music and actually putting messages behind the music that are positive, man. We got to we got to we got to execute all of the all of the, you know, just negative hip hop, all of the hip hop that is just, you know, sexual, just violent and, you know, just not for the community not for the people man we got to start changing the directory of hip-hop and it's time so like i said if you guys are wanting to uh, check out some positive music good sounding music that actually has a meaning to it make sure you guys check out my music link will be in the description down below make sure you guys check it out you will not be disappointed but we are about to end off this video like i said this was you are not crazy hip-hop is Hip Hop is Changing by Doubly. So like I said, the original video will be linked down below if you want to check it out. We are about to end off the video. So before we do that, be sure to like. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what you would like to see from me next. Most importantly, hit that subscribe button and join the MJTV family. Also, turn on post notifications so that every time I drop a video, you guys will be notified. Alright, this was MJTV and I'll see you guys later in the next one. Alright, peace.